If you're installing the cooler on an AMD motherboard, the first step is to remove the stock clips. They're each held on with four screws. If you're going to be installing the cooler on an Intel motherboard, the first step is to install your backplate. If you're using an LGA 1200 motherboard, you're going to want to have these clips pulled all the way towards the middle. If you're using an LGA 1700 or 1851 socket like I am, you're going to want to pull them all the way to their outer setting. So you've got two little notches here. You can simply pull them out and then slide these to their all in the outer setting. And then it's just a simple matter of lining the backplate up with the holes in the motherboard. And you're going to want to install one of these spacers onto each corner. If you're installing on an LGA 1700 or 1851 socket, you're done. However, if you're installing on an LGA 1200 motherboard, there's these additional spacers to go over the top. There is double-sided adhesive on one side, so you can simply peel the plastic off, and then you can add one of these to each corner on top of these original spacers. So in terms of installing our I.O., it's great to see that our fans are pre-installed on our radar. One less thing for us to do. Coming from our fans, we've got two cables. We've got a PWM cable to plug into our CPU fan header. And we've got a 3-pin 5-volt ARGB cable. And we're going to plug this into an ARGB header on our motherboard. We've also got a daisy chainable connector here. And into that header, we're going to plug the ARGB cable coming from our pump. So there's only going to be one ARGB header we're going to need on the motherboard. The other cable coming from our pump is a 4-pin PWM cable, and this is going to go into our pump header on the motherboard. So it's good to see we've got thermal place pre-applied to the cutter, so one less job to do. If you're going with an Intel motherboard, you're ready to go with the Intel brackets pre-installed. Because we're going to be installing this in an AMD motherboard, we're going to need to remove the installed Intel bracket. Simply push it up to remove it. We can then take our AMD bracket, slide it down into place, and push to lock it into place. So on the front of our pump, we've got this magnetically attached mirror cover. It simply pulls off. And beneath it, we've got this little panel with the ASUS logo on it. When you install this in the case, if it's not up the right way, it's just a simple matter of freeing it up. And then you're going to be able to turn it round and push it back into place to install it in the correct orientation. In the box, we also get this prime plate. So you're able to swap it out with the ASUS one if you prefer. So just before we set our radiator into the case, I'm just going to pass our fan cables up and through to the back. And I'm actually going to plug the fan cables in before putting the radiator up at the top because there's definitely going to be easier to see the headers without the radiator in place. So our CPU fan header is this one here. So we'll bring the PWM cable back through and get it plugged into place. And we've got two ARGB headers here on the side of the motherboard. So we'll bring the ARGB cable through and we'll get it plugged into one of the headers. We can then lift the radiator up into place at the top of the case and we'll secure it into place with the short radiator screws that come with the I.O. Next we can remove the plastic protection from the cold plate and then we just need to line our pump up with the bracket on the motherboard. All we need to do now is get a thumb screw onto each corner and then we'll just tighten each corner up and turn with a screwdriver. Next I'm going to pass our fan cables through to the back. There's two fan headers at the top of the motherboard. The lower one is our I.O. pump header. So we'll bring the PWM cable back through and get it plugged into it. Then at the back of the case, we just need to plug the RGB cable coming from our pump into that spare splitter cable that is going into our fans. And we can remove the plastic protection from the mirror. 